How you been feeling? And twice this week. One was when I was standing for a long period of time without moving. I forget what it was. And the other was I did a three mile walk, three and a half mile walk. And I started to get a little bit of a pain in that same spot. And I did a long walk like that, so I'm gonna walk. About how long into the walk did the pain start? How, uh, maybe one mile. Maybe a mile and a half. And um, what percent of your awake time would you say you're aware of that low back pain? Oh, it's a small percentage, maybe five to ten percent. All right, gotten better, gotten better. Fantastic. All right, let's get to face down on the table, please. Okay. Any pain on the left side or is it on the right? Uh, it's all on the right. Yeah. Kind of where the belt usually goes. All right. Yeah. What about there? Mobilize some things in your upper back first. I'm sorry? Gonna mobilize your upper back okay. first. Right. Take a deep breath in. And all the way out. And breathe normally. That pressure okay, Peter? Yeah, it's okay. That's my next stop. Right. That exercise where you're sitting on your side, propped up in your hand, and you lift your hips up off the floor. Right. That targets the spot. Okay. Absolutely. Pressure okay? Yes. Is that better? Turn face up, please. firing a bit more tightly than the right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Turn out to your side, please, facing me. Facing me. Oh. Leg, like so. Like so. Hold on to it Like so. And 
stand up, please? Ready. You wanted me to review with you that kneeling lunge maneuver? Yeah, would you? Great. That would be great. I'll demonstrate it for you. All righty. So first, you're gonna kneel down on the knee of the side that you wanna stretch. Right. With you, I believe you're feeling the stiff this more on the right side. So we'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. Kneel on the pad. Heel, not directly underneath the knee. You want to put it, get it a bit in front of there. So you have some room to lunge. Okay. Back perfectly straight. Tuck your pelvis up in front, down and back. So you're pulling your belt buckle up toward your nose. Okay. Already feel a bit of a stretch right here. From there, I'm going to propel myself forward and back. Uh, okay. Retilt, forward and back. Retilt, forward each time I try to Tighten up my glutes to try to pull my thigh behind me as hard as I can. It's like I'm towing off but with my knee, just pushing off with my right knee. Forward uh, okay. and back. Try that. That's the lever, huh? <clears throat> so kneel down on your right knee. That foot in front, a little bit more in front. Back nice and straight. Okay. Tuck your pelvis up in front, down and back. Right. You know what? Yeah, you already feel a pull right there? Yeah. Now just push off with your right knee, pushing yourself forward. Okay, and sometimes they do it against the wall. You can do it against the wall, that's yeah, great, yeah. yeah. But forward basically. and back. Try not to lean so much, keep that back nice and straight. Forward, that's better. And yeah. back, tuck, forward and back. Right. Tuck, remember to pull that pelvis up in front. Right. Yep. <laughs> forward and back. Where do you feel these? Uh, I could feel it in here. Bit more in the back on yeah. there, okay. Yeah. Just make sure. It, it's the mistake most people make is forgetting to pull up first. Yeah. Just to really. That's isolate. something I have to focus on. So when I do that, it tightens here. Yeah, it's where most people feel it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you don't tuck, then you're more likely to feel in the back right there. Oh, okay. 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 So that, that that's okay. That's. And I can do it against the wall. Yes. Okay. Do like uh, three sets of ten per side. Okay. That should do it for you. Good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. How's everything feeling? Uh, pretty good. 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 I'd say feeling nice and loose after the treatment and yeah. in the class earlier. So yeah. You're just hitting yeah. it all today. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So first. Yeah, the, whole, the whole deal. Yeah. Um, we are going to start. Um, doing the anti-pelvis kind of GRS and I don't know if you've done these before or not, but this one, you're gonna be on your back like right. so, feet up towards the ceiling. You right. can kind of put your hands right here in your legs right. and you wanna kind of tuck your tailbone up, pushing your feet up towards the ceiling. Right. So kind of like that. Right. Yeah. The only way so far I've been able to do that is against the wall. Okay. But, but I can try it. Here. Let's try it and then if we yeah. need to we'll move over there. Right. I mean in terms of actually moving. Yeah. Hip, you know. So let's see, start this way. Yep, kind of feet up, kind of put your bottom of your feet up towards the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And these can go anywhere? Hands can go wherever, whatever's easiest. I kind of okay. sometimes like them kind of on long side of my thighs. I don't know if that sometimes helps. But yeah, you can kind of use the ground to help. Yeah. If I do that, yeah, there you go. You can put your head back if you'd like. Rest on those little things. Good. How's that feeling? Uh, okay. You're getting off the ground pretty well, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. So yeah, just keep working on that NZR1, that low belly breathing as we do this. Okay. And keep this tight. Yep. Keep that core nice and engaged. And let's do 10. You've done probably like five. Six. Try to keep those feet pointing up to the ceiling a little more. There you go. Good. Yep. <laughs> Good. All right, you can take a little rest there. We'll do one more set of these. Remember, give yourself a couple seconds there to relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Over 
here. Yeah, so you've been doing, you said, against the wall. So let's try that. Yeah. Make it a little easier for you. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the first time I was able to. It looks yeah, bad. I, I'm going to say, maybe all the practices. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. But let's come on down and get that up against the okay. wall. Okay. Uh, get close to it. Yeah. Okay. it up there, you know? <laughs> uh, it's, getting, it's getting there, though. Um, and this way you can really isolate that movement right there through the pelvis area. Yeah, right. And not activate all the core. It's getting so strong. Right. But, yeah. So people can actually do that, though. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> You'll, you'll be there soon. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, nicely done. You're going to be doing it for you. Yeah, I've got so well, you know, that helps. Yeah. Gives you a little more support, right? Right. Good. Go right there. Oh. Okay. Let's do one more set here. One more set of 10, but take a little, take okay. a second there. And you're getting you're getting a good amount of space between the floor. Yep. So that's awesome. How are these feeling for you? Uh, feels okay. Okay. Good. Probably feel it in my stomach later on, right? <laughs> yeah. Abdomen. <laughs> feel a burn later, right? Okay, since we're against the wall already, we're gonna we're gonna do our little the half kneeling. This one. So I'm gonna keep that pelvis nice right. and even here. And then you wanna kinda tuck that pelvis up underneath. Right. And you kinda wanna push down through this knee onto the ground, kind of propelling yourself forward. You don't want this leg to be the one that's doing the work. Just kind of think driving down. But we don't want to see a bunch of movement here either. We want to keep this as solid as possible. And then kind of drive that knee down. So like so. The push is coming from. Yep, the push is coming from this knee that's down. Kind of almost think like you're, you want to push that foot back. Uh, so, but then by pushing that direction, you're going to push your upper body towards right. the wall. Okay. So you can get up closer to the wall, kind of have your Kind of in like a little, yeah, half kneeling, kind of a little like lunge. Should put one leg forward. And one up. Yep. So one, yep, just on your right there. Okay. Good. And keep this nice, nice and level here. Okay. And then yeah, you're gonna drive through this leg, almost like you're pushing that foot back, which will kind of propel you towards the wall. Yeah. You feel that, that pushing down right there? I can. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do. Let's do ten. Then I'm going to add a little resistance, change it up. <laughs> yeah. Make it a little more challenging for you. Okay. And try and keep that, this part. Yep. Which, I say, you're doing a pretty good job of keeping that. It's going a little forward, so just kind of try to keep this. All right. This side almost a little more forward. Forward? This. Yeah, kind of tilt like that. Oh, okay. There you go. Good. Yes, yeah, we want this kind of all in line with your back. Ah, uh, okay. Then, yeah, push back and then Good. Now what I'm going to try to do is try to push this leg forward and I want you to just push me back. Okay. Just so it just adds in a little resistance which makes it a little more challenging. Okay. okay. So. 
try and push it back, yep. right? Uh, without moving the uh, knee, huh? Yep. Okay. So it's more of just like a, this is just kind of a cue that we use just to right. make it a little more. Think about that area a little bit more. How's that feeling, Pete? Uh, good. It's a stretch. Let's see a couple more. Okay. You can take a little rest there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do the other leg forward now. Close to that wall. This. And then you're just like driving down through this knee, so then it's going to push. Okay. Kind of push that pelvis forward by driving back. Are you trying to keep this foot on the foot uh, on the floor. Yep, that foot doesn't move. Yeah. That leg's just kind of hanging out up there. Okay. <laughs> so it's really here. That leg's just kind of hell giving you a little stable. Little right. base, right? It's not really doing much. See, we're getting a little. This side's kind of so. Try to pull this side of your hips a little. This yeah, way. Just like that, did. Okay. We're getting a little. You're turning a little that way. I always kind of yeah. like to think like with this leg too, like your hip bone right here. Kind of push that forward. Okay. And then usually it's kind of since you're thinking this side, you're going to kind of even out, even though it feels like you're pushing this that right side forward more. Okay. And then you try to lean as far as you can forward, pushing down through here. Okay. Yeah, tight here in the uh, quadriceps. Yeah. Drive that leg down, that knee down, and push those, this pelvis forward. Good. Okay. And this is more forward than this, yep. right? Yep. Yep. So okay. yeah, we want it just, just perfect, just like that. Okay. Good. You can take a little rest there. Ready? I'll do a few more. Stop looking at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> How are those feeling? Okay. They're definitely kind of, it kind of feels weird, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's do one more set. This time I'm going to kind of okay. give you that resistance a little differently yeah. here. Start here. Let's do this leg back. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. I can put that other foot forward again. This one forward. And, uh... Okay. Now I'm going to give you a little resistance here, okay? So I'm going to push, okay. push my, I'm going to kind of push you back. So just push my fingers forward. Pushing down in that knee. Good. Good. There you yeah, go. I see. Feel that difference? You kind of yeah. want to keep yeah. that, that this, level. It's easy to kind it, of have your pelvis just, show off to yeah. the left, right? Right. But you don't want to. There you go. That's good. You feel and it on really the kneecap too, a little bit. Drive that down. Good. I'll try to keep that good. All right. Let's do the other side now. If you need a little break, feel free to take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take a little rest there. Yeah. Putting you to work today. There we go. Good. Yeah, just drive that knee up. Good. You're doing a good job of keeping this pretty nice and neutral, so that's good. Okay. As far as you can. Yep, as far as you can. <clears throat> All right. Take a little rest there. How are you feeling? Uh, okay. Thanks. I'm happy for that for today.
Thank you, thank yeah. you. Good. I Sweet. Feel, feel ready to go here. Ready to roll, right? <laughs> Ten more seconds. Much better finding those heels. Two, one, and stop. You got about 10 more seconds. All right, we got less than 10 seconds. Keep that foot coming off the ground, driving up. Two, one, and stop. It is the running clock one. So nine minutes, clock is running. You're gonna go down and back with a front rack carry. You're gonna do six each leg, reverse lunge. And then we have some kettlebell cleans. All right? So this is the position. You wanna make sure your hips are underneath you. Shoulders are square, don't hunch them up. Nice and centered in between those feet. You're gonna walk all the way down. You have to keep that core engaged, right? That breath is nice and in that low belly, fully engaged, and you're gonna walk it all the way back up. Okay. Then you can leave your weights up there that you use for that. Then we're gonna do a reverse lunge six each leg. Hold your weights here in that goblet position. Down and up. Same side, six times. Really work on that knee alignment. Toes staying nice and wide. Be doing more weight for a clean than for your reverse lunge. Here, at the top, up to here, right? Six of those. Hey, can you get it into that position? Whew. Yes. Good. Those are gonna help? Yep. Nice and soft. Good. Clock going. Okay, running clock. You just flow from one exercise to the next, right? Right. All right, three, two, one. We've got it. All that pressurization there helps your back stay stable and strong. Right. All the way back. Uh, Whoop. Find that balance. There you go. And then the other side. And then on the other side, yep. Remember to keep that heel up on the foot that goes back, Dan. Better. I know this is your challenge. No, yeah, this is yeah. your strong side. Hold it nice and steady. Six. Okay, then. Um, let's get you something a little heavier for your clean. All right, got it in both hands? Yeah. Dan, you don't need to put it all the way on the ground. Keep it like under tension, just, just below the knees. All right, it helps you to see, right? Yep. Here you go, Pete, here. Right. Up. Here. Yes. Same for you. You don't need to put that weight on the floor. Go ahead and keep it in your hands. Stay nice and square across here. And then back. Yeah, cleans. Nice, Dan. Okay, so not so wide here. Let them be just slightly forwards. Okay. All right, not that much, right there. Okay, right. Try, that's a little better. Dan, nice and upright. Yeah. No tiptoe walking for you today. No. Good. That's all right, find that balance. Remember that heel stays up. Don't even put it down, right? Tip there. Yeah, better. 
and some plank shoulder taps. Lateral lunge, let's hold again in that goblet position. Step out, slight hip hinge, push strong to center, go to the other side. Step out, strong push, go to the other side. So we're just gonna alternate back and forth for 40 seconds. And then you have 20 seconds to get a band. Yeah. You can do this with or without a weight. I want you to be tensioned here, right? We're gonna squat and up. You can do that with a weight if you wish. Plank, have those feet wide enough to have some stability and you're just gonna alternate, trying to keep those hips steady. Pete, if you want, we have the block to prop your feet on. Sure. Yeah. Let's go. Lateral lunges. Do you do this? Uh, no, just hold it nice and steady. Right, as you step out, that leg in the middle's gotta come straight. Straighten that leg, yes. Now your right leg goes straight, yep. Let them rotate to the side, better. Well, they, they, I don't want them way out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, weights down. You got 20 seconds to get a band around your legs. You can come sit on this bench if you need a spot to sit. Hips tuck under at the top. Right? Ready? Tip hips under and then go back down. Right. Stop. Bands off. Right, so it helps you stand back up straight, right? Yeah. Pete? Otherwise, you get a little off centered like this. Yeah. You remember to tuck them, it gets your body lined up, and then you're ready to go again. Yeah. All right. It's a good stabilizer. Okay, three, two, one. We are in a plank, getting some shoulder taps in. Dan, put those feet just a little wider. There you go. Work on a little less sway there, a little less sway. <laughs> Two, one, and stop. So my name is Peter Coulson. I've uh, been working at here for a while. I really came because I was having some problems with uh, some pains and my leg and my back and I went to see Dr. J and uh, he helped me with that and uh, he suggested that maybe I might uh, try the uh, FF uh, foundational fitness program right which has really been quite helpful for me. So, you want me to continue? Or? Oh, that, that was excellent. I would say I just have a couple other questions for Dr. J. Okay. Uh, Okay, so since I, yeah, I, in the four or five months since I've been in foundational fitness, <clears throat> I've noticed uh, much more strength in my upper body. I could actually see it, feel it. Um, and in my arms, um, and an improvement in my stability. I've had trouble with stability, and it's one of the things I'm working on, but I have been able to Stand on a foot longer than one foot longer than I have before, and another foot. So, um, 
I'd say the stability and then the, the actual strength uh, that I feel in the, in the upper body. Well, I, I was just able to do a, a, a lift with my hip, my legs against the wall, and I had not been able to do that before. Uh, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, I think I feel a little bit more confident in my walking, and you know, I, I'm able to kind of be more confident and more stable, feel a little bit more stable. Great, and then when you just say it one line, uh, if you recommend or care to say, uh, I'm Keith and I recommend the care of the Levitz and Cornerstone Yeah, and I should refer to it as Cornerstone Health? Or? Yeah, that's the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you say when. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Pete, and uh, I would highly recommend care at uh, Cornerstone Health. It's, it's done wonders for me and uh, really changed my life, and uh, I highly recommend it for everybody.